Okay, for the next one is, um, it says scribbling, but we're actually gonna mark that out. We're actually gonna do a stippling one, or at least what looks like stippling. So I'm just gonna write in stippling down here. So I marked out scribbling, I write in stippling, all right? And stippling means just made up of little dots, um, like the painters, some of the post-impressionist painters did where they were painting with little dots. So we're gonna do this in color. And again, I'm gonna use a green for mine. And you will notice that, remember that with the green, with my shadows, I can go into blue because blue uh, and yellow make green. And with my highlights, I can go into yellow. So yellow, green, or even yellow for some of the highlights. So I've got my green, I've got blue and yellow, and even some white as well. I'm gonna start by um, just putting some white down on those highlight areas, um, just in case I end up going into those areas by accident that I already have the, some of the white down. So again, on the top of the cylinder here, on this side of the cone, all of those are my highlight areas on this side of the cube. And then I'm gonna start by, again, just adding little dots adding dots, adding dots of green. Little dots, not, not, not this, not a, not a tapping. It's more like a, it's more like drawing the dots. You're drawing them like little tiny O's. All right, so they almost look like dabs of paint. And all, yeah, like little circles. And then I'm gonna show where the shadow is down here. I'm gonna first do that shadow again. I'm gonna go in with the blue and sort of in between the greens, put in some of that blue. Not everywhere, spread them out. Again, I'm trying to match the value of the stippling of the top one. And that's something that when we're drawing a still life that you'll want to do. When we put the light onto the still life, you're trying to match the, trying to match the value of the shadows that are not only on the object, but the shadows that are around the object. I'm putting on dots. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna put the, the dots further apart on the, the lighter side. And then I'm even gonna go back in and remember that yellow and blue make green, so I'm gonna use some yellow on my lighter side of the cube. And then on the table, I'm gonna put some dots here on the table, but just farther apart. Again, closer together, the darker it gets. Now, many of those um, impressionist painters, they would uh, have what's called visual mixing, meaning they would put the yellow and blue together and then your eyes mix it together, called visual blending or visual mixing. But we're gonna use the green here. Okay. Put some of the yellow in the background, maybe even a couple of dots on that highlight. Maybe just very small dots of green, just to give the hint of green. Put some more on this side. All right, so there's our, our cube. Now, with the, with the uh, sphere and the cylinder and the, and the cone, this one, again, you're just putting the dots sort of around, like in a crescent moon shape. You don't have to really follow the you're just putting them around like where the shadow would be. I'm gonna start with the green. And I'm gonna go into that background area and into the shadow area with the green. Got a few more green over there. Again, that shadow is underneath. It kind of makes an oval shape underneath the sphere when you look at it up here. See, it's like a, it's like an oval underneath. Again, they get farther apart, closer where it's shadow. There's a few here in the background of the wall. I'm 
going to go in with the blue now and again where the shadows are. And again, I'm not tapping because if you tap it, it's just going to break the, the lead of the color pencil. It's like little, I'm drawing in little dots, little O's. Drawing them in. Do not tap it. If you tap it, it's just going to break the color pencil. Also, it takes a lot longer to do the, the tapping technique. All right, now around the highlights, I'm going to put in some yellow and put some yellow in overall, especially in the table area and in the wall area back here. There's lighter areas. I can go back in, just add a few green dots here and there. Smaller and not as close together. Okay, so you're going to be doing the same, like matching the value with those dots, with the, with the uh, cylinder and with the uh, cone. So just following those same techniques uh, with the, making the dots rather than the tapping for stippling.